Hello folks, in these next few videos, I want to talk about the issue of first shading and how it affects the performance of a solar panel. And what I mean by that is, let's say I have this solar panel uh, which looks like this. And on one nice uh, and sunny day, a leaf falls from a nearby tree and blocks a few cells on my solar panels. So what I want to understand is that how much is the degradation in the power output of my panel which occurs due to this uh, leaf. Or another scenario which, uh, uh, which can result in shading is let's say I have a pole or I have uh, a tree which is uh, next to this, uh, next to this uh, solar panel and uh, maybe during the evening or the late afternoon this tree essentially it uh, casts a shadow on uh, my solar panel and that blocks out this part of my solar panel okay and i wanted to understand how much is the again the degradation uh, in the power output because of this uh, shading uh, from the tree Another thing that we want to understand is uh, uh, what is called as uh, soiling, okay? So let's say if you place this panel in a desert or if you <clears throat> place it uh, on your roof and there was no rainfall uh, for uh, let's say the last few months, a lot of dust can accumulate on uh, top of uh, this uh, panel and uh, it can uh, limit the amount of light which is uh, incident uh, on my solar cells and that is known as the uh, soiling and again i want to understand how much is the loss of my energy output because of uh, these effects okay so before we get to that let's start uh, with some basics and uh, let's understand how does shading affect two cells which are connected in a parallel okay so what i'm showing over here is uh, these two cells and uh, they are uh, connected uh, in parallel over here and uh, represented in green over here is my good cell so in green is my good cell which has a well-behaved iv characteristics like this of a typical solar cell and uh, I'll denote this as my good IV characteristics, okay? And uh, adjacent to that, I have my bad cell in red. So denoted in red is this bad cell. And uh, let's say, you know, this cell had some shading issues. So it was partially covered uh, with a leaf. And what that resulted is that it resulted uh, in this IV characteristic drawn in red, which I'll call as my bad IV characteristics, where because of this uh, shading, there was drop in the short circuit uh, current uh, of the cell. And also, as a result of that, there was drop in the open circuit uh, voltage of this uh, bad cell. Okay, so now what is the overall IV characteristic of the system which consists of this good cell and a bad cell? So remember these two, these two cells are connected uh, in a parallel. That essentially means that, you know, they will have the same voltage which uh, will apply across the terminal of uh, both of uh, these uh, cells. Okay, so if you recall from your high school physics or your freshman uh, engineering, when two of these uh, uh, elements are connected uh, in parallel, their currents add up, okay? So what I would expect is for this overall cell, my short circuit current, my short circuit current over here, it would be essentially the sum of my short circuit current from my bad cell and the short circuit current from my good cell. So what I can safely assume is that this uh, short circuit current of this overall system is going to be the sum of the short circuit current of the good cell and the bad cell. Okay, so that is uh, what I'm plotting. Let me use the same color in uh, uh, in the current voltage characteristics over here. Now, the more important question or the more complex question is what is going to be the overall open circuit voltage of this uh, system, 
okay so let me you know take uh, take uh, a few cases and consider them so let's consider the case where this uh, open circuit voltage of the overall system is the open circuit voltage of my good cell okay so is that even possible so let's say if the open circuit voltage of my overall system was the open circuit voltage of the good cell okay so my good cell it's essentially at its open circuit voltage it's uh, conducting no current or the current through the good cell is uh, equal to zero but how about the bad cell so if i look at the bad cell it essentially corresponds to uh, this particular voltage and if i look at the iv characteristic of the bad cell it looks like at that particular voltage it would be very heavily uh, forward biased and it would be conducting a large amount of current so the overall current through the system is uh, going to be a large uh, forward bias current and definitely not going to be zero so that is uh, not possible so it seems like the open circuit voltage cannot be equal to the open circuit voltage of the good cell okay so let's consider the case can it be now equal to the open circuit voltage of the bad cell so how about if my overall uh, system it had the open circuit voltage of the bad cell okay so if that was the case the current through the bad cell the current through the bad cell is going to be zero but we are seeing that essentially my good cell is still conducting a current and it's still producing power at this particular voltage so again through the system uh, if i talk about the overall system the current through that is uh, not equal to zero in fact that is equal to the current in the good cell so that is uh, again not possible okay or uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we have an open circuit condition for the overall system which means that the overall system it has no current flow through it so what happens is that the open uh, overall system it has a open circuit voltage which is typically in between the open circuit voltage of the bad cell and the open circuit voltage of the good cell Okay, so if I draw my IV characteristic uh, like this, I'll notice that when I'm at this particular uh, voltage, my good cell, it's essentially uh, carrying the current uh, uh, in this, uh, in, uh, in a mode which is producing power, while my bad cell, it's essentially consuming the power, okay? So it has a current which is uh, equal but in opposite direction and uh, it's uh, consuming power instead of uh, producing power. But the overall system, it essentially has a zero current output, okay? So this would be the open circuit voltage of my overall system, okay? An easy way or a trick that I would suggest to you to essentially gauge what this uh, open or uh, overall system uh, or overall system's open circuit uh, voltage would be is to essentially take your good cell okay so take the iv characteristic uh, from your good cell and uh, plot it okay now take the iv characteristic from your bad cell as essentially flip it over okay so you flip over the IV characteristic of your bad cell, okay? And let these two curves meet, okay? And that point at which uh, these two curves meet, the voltage at that point would essentially correspond to the, would essentially correspond to the open circuit voltage of your overall system. And why that is the case? So you see at this particular voltage, this uh, good cell is uh, producing power. So it's uh, producing power, okay? And the, the bad cell in this case, it's essentially forward bias and it's uh, flowing current uh, in uh, a direction opposite to that of uh, energy production, okay? So it is uh, consuming the power. And overall, these two current in the good cell, the current uh, in my good cell, it essentially negates the 
or it balances the current in the bad cell which is uh, in the opposite direction okay and uh, the overall system it essentially looks like it's uh, the it's uh, it's uh, giving out no current but uh, even in this condition it's important to keep in mind that uh, even though there is no current coming out of the overall system this good cell is uh, producing the power okay and this uh, bad cell is essentially consuming the power so this is very interesting 